Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. Um, I'm gonna bring you on a barn vlog today. We are starting a little later than normal. The world's been really crazy lately. I had a couple other videos that were planned and just are gonna have to kind of wait until everything mellows out a little bit with everything going on. And I just figured it would be best to do another barn vlog just because it's what I'm doing and it's safe and it's here. I know I'm gonna get a question about if our barn's on lockdown. It is to non-owners and non-essential personnel. So obviously the workers are still here, I'm still here, the owners are still here. We do have a lot of social distancing rules, sanitization rules, um, just general safety rules. But with that, our barn is still open to, you know, the owners and essential personnel, but we're all being very safe and cautious. I figured I'd take you along with me today and we'll just do kind of a little bit of uh, a routine. <laughs> I'm gonna start with buckets. Um, it's chaos in here, I'm sorry. Couple little updates. So I've had some horses leave, some horses come. Um, it's part of, you know, resales and just training in general. So I do plan on doing an updated meet my horses. Just a quick round rundown. We've had, gosh, let's see. Black Cash left. He went off to um, a semi-retirement up in Santa Barbara because his human is done with school. Also, we had a horse named Theo come in and out, 30 days of training. We had Sebastian, my three-year-old, who was in um, one of my <clears throat> How to Restart Your OTTB series. He came in and left. He found an amazing forever home. Um, let's see who else. Annie Claire is not here at the moment. She will be back. Indigo has sold. Bailey is sold. We have a new one named Jameson. We have a new one named Kimber. Um, I think that's it, but like I said, an updated Meet My Horses will be coming soon. I also want to say a huge thank you to Biozyme and Vitalize for sending some Alimend. Um, I've been wanting to try this for forever. Like, it's a stomach gastric ulcer support kind of uh, supplement, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I've been dying to try it out myself. So now that I have it, um... I'm gonna be adding it to Dee's feed, and I might actually buy another gallon to add to Zin's feed if I really like it. So um, stay updated on that, and I'll give you guys my thoughts probably in one of my next videos. But also, stay tuned on Instagram. There are a lot more updates on there daily. So if you're not following, here it is. <laughs> pretty clean but this one this one did something extra special how am I supposed to clean that look like Harvey Two-Face it's supposed to be your good side too <laughs> all right all right so I finished feeding grain yeah I did the barn too pull all the blankets I put some fly stuff on but it's hard to tell if there are going to be flies today. It's warm, but it's not like hot, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to grab D first, and we're going to go down below. So this is kind of what the day is looking like right now. I forgot to say that if you guys did want to see my supplement and graining and all that stuff, I'll link two videos down below on my routine and also why I feed what I feed. So I'm going to go grab D and start grooming, and we're going to go down below and flat and maybe do a couple jumps. We'll see.
So I just realized I don't have anyone here to film and I don't have my GoPro because, well, I'm ill prepared. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to do wide angle on my phone a little bit um, or check back in after I ride. But basically just an easy flat. I might do a couple fences with him. It's not conditioning day, so it's nothing too strenuous. Um, it is his first time back down in the lower arena since the rain, so um, he might be a little forward. He doesn't normally get too excited about that kind of stuff. He's normally pretty pokey, but um, on the flat at least. But yeah, so I'm gonna get that done and then I'll see you guys on the other side. Nothing like a fresh drug arena, that's for sure. I love being the first one to put footprints in here. Bye. D had a good work. Did about 32-ish minutes. Worked a lot on his straightness and hind engagement because um, he's been kind of on the forehand lately and I've been okay with it because uh, when he's kind of going on a longer frame, he's very relaxed, which we love. But with that, he just hasn't um, really been engaging his hind end well, as well. And so I worked a lot on that and I worked his changes a little bit on straightness. And yeah, he was good. He wasn't fantastic, but he was good. On to the next. I'm gonna throw D in the turnout for an hour or so, maybe two. Um, he's not gonna go too long though because he didn't wanna drink any water and there's no water in the turnout. So I'll probably bring him a bucket in like an hour and see if he'll drink more. But if not, then I'm just gonna put him home because he prefers an auto water these days. Princess Dragon. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go get Zen and put him in the turnout and then I'm gonna ride Troy. Post ride, really? Stay out of the mud. Of course. Are you not tired at all? I worked you pretty hard. Oh boy. He found the sand pile. Nice tail. This should be fairly exciting when he gets up. Oh, wow. Good thing I gave him a shower. That's why we call him Dirty D. <laughs> and go! <sniffs> Nothing. Okay. Or prove me wrong. Alright, have fun. Bye! Zinni is on his way to the turnout. He did this beautiful thing to his face. Hopefully his brothers don't bite him as he walks by. Hold on. Lately I've been leaving Zinni's halter on in the turnout. Not because he's hard to catch, but sometimes... The anticipation of taking his halter off on the side he cannot see. Which I guess I could do it on the other side. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. Um, it's been a little bit exciting. So we've been leaving the halter on. Which is just a temporary thing. But I might try undoing it from the other side. Wow, I'm blonde. And didn't even remember that there's a buckle on the other side. But, anywho, that's why he has his halter on. And it is breakaway, so if he gets a foot through anywhere, it'll snap. Man, he's shiny. Thank you, O3 Animal Health. Nothing like a shiny dark horse. Troy! Come on, you can eat grass later. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> also, I get a lot of questions about Troy, Zinn, and Dee's halter. Dee's actually wearing his show halter right now. Don't ask me why, he just is. Um, as far as these halters, from Troy and Zinn, um, they're from Frosty Hollow Creation, and I had to pay more for customization. I'm not sponsored by them, that's just where I got them. They are beta leather, so the whole thing is breakaway, but it doesn't wear as quickly as leather. You don't have to clean it, um, especially in Southern California where it's normally quite hot and then dry and dusty. Um, the leather gets really cracky if you don't clean it a lot. So for this stuff, it, it's um, fake leather, which is nice and cruelty free. Hello. Oh, hello. 
This is the worst smile I've ever seen. <laughs> That's better. Now I'm not even asking you though. Smile. All right. Do you want a treat? Try. Oh, can you straighten your head out? Okay. Goodbye. Going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky. I hope you like my song. That's my song for the day. I'm only on horse two and I'm already going insane. It's gonna be a great day today. Brought D back in. Um, brought Jameson in. But Jameson's just gonna get a drink and then I'm gonna go lunge him in the side reins. Cassie is here, she's gonna lesson on Remington, so we're gonna go down below. But I'm going to do Jameson while she is tacking up. D wants water. It's not Coca Cola, but you can try. Oh, it's water. Shoot. Ain't not yummy. It's kinda yummy. Mmm. Gross. Shower for Jameson. Now to pilot for the turnout. Hi D. Nice new red halter. Then I'm gonna do Kimber. Um, I'm gonna have to put her in the turnout. She had an abscess this week, so she's not doing a whole lot. She did have it opened, but it's still draining, so she's still a little sore. So I'm just gonna put her in the turnout to have um, some time out of her stall. Actually ended up side reading Jameson today or um, putting him on the stretcher. He's never been on it before. So I figured since I have a little lighter load and I'm moving a couple things around that I would do him today. Um, I think I'm gonna move Pilot to tomorrow because he um, has worked the last two days this week. Today, Wednesday, yeah, two days this week. So he can have today, wait a minute. Is today, yeah, today's Wednesday. I think. I don't know, this whole coronavirus thing, I don't know the date anymore. Not that I ever do, but, um, yeah. Okay, like I was saying, I'm gonna move Pilot's flat work till tomorrow. I'm just gonna turn him out today since I did Jameson today instead of tomorrow. And Dee and Troy also have the day off tomorrow because they both did kind of jumps today. I don't know, I might do D over some stuff because he really only did one cross rail. Um, like off each lead and that was it. But um, yeah, we'll see if I have time to get on Zen after I teach Cassie and then I have to ride Griffin. <sighs> so let's go do Kimber. Miss Kimber is walking a ton better today. Um, my farrier said it would take a few days for it all to drain. So we've been taking it pretty easy. Turnouts and hand walks and ground manners and all that good stuff. But um, it looks a lot better today. Do a nice roll right in the mud. Oh, wow. That was skillful. <laughs> You're the weirdest pony sometimes. You know that, Kimber? You're a strange, strange girl. 
So I finished with Remington. I'm on Zinn now. I feel really bad. I just got on him and literally a jump fell as I walked by him and he spooked and he was such a saint. He walked right by it again, but I felt absolutely awful because, you know, he's a little spooky with his eyes still, but um, he's being a, a super sport. So very happy with him. Remington was good too. I just have Griffin and Pilot left now. So it kind of got a little chaotic there for a second. Um, I finished up with Zen. He was really good. I kind of slowed it down a little bit with him um, as far as like his work. And he's been doing really well. But he pulled his left front shoe off trotting. So that was exciting. And then Remington was a little colicky. So I had to address that. And I put Pilot back. And now I have Griffin. And we're going to go down below. And I think he actually might be my last horse of the day. I had more planned today, but... Um, just kind of the way everything's going and I still have to go to the feed store. I don't think there's a whole lot in the books for me today. So we'll see, but I'm going to do Griffin now. Not sure how time slips away for me. It's about 3.30 now. Um, walking Griffin down to the lower arena. I forgot to mention I did give Zen a full body bath, purple shampoo. So he's white today, but he probably won't be tomorrow. I also have to come down here to find his shoe. I know exactly where he lost it, but, oh, scary dove. Um, I know exactly where he lost it, but regardless, I need to make sure I grab that so that he can get it on next week. And now he's up. I'm too far away from you. Come back. Go get the Tucker. Go get her. Come here. Go Tucker. Me. Tucker. He's like, I have selective hearing. Hello. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Griffin was pretty good. 
He was a little forward and strong today and was jumping very round. Um, <clears throat> I put Kimber back. I put Pilot back. Like I said, I'm going to do Pilot tomorrow. Um, Renee didn't show up today, so we are not going to be doing trip. He'll be done tomorrow. And then Tress actually showed up and lunged Callie. So that's actually everyone, which is crazy because it's like 5 o'clock. So I am out of here a bit early and I'm going to go to the feed store and then come back on blanket and do even grain.